Exodus 6. And Yahuwah said to Musha, Now see what I do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand he is going to let them go, and with a strong hand he is going to drive them out of his land. And Allahim spoke to Musha, and said to him, I am Yahuwah. And I appeared to Abrahim, to Yitzhak, and to Yakub, as Al Shaddai, and by my name, Yahuwah, was I not known to them? And I also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their sojournings, in which they have sojourned. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Yisrael, whom the Mitzrim are enslaving, and I have remembered my covenant. Say, therefore, to the children of Yisrael, I am Yahuwah, and I shall bring you out from under the burdens of the Mitzrim, and shall deliver you from their enslaving, and shall redeem you with an outstretched arm, and with great judgments, and shall take you as my people, and I shall be your Allahim. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah, your Allahim, who is bringing you out from under the burdens of the Mitzrim. And I shall bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yakub, to give it to you as an inheritance. I am Yahuwah. And Musha spoke thus to the children of Yisrael, but they did not listen to Musha because of shortness of Ruach and from hard slavery. And Yahuwah spoke to Musha, saying, Go in, speak to Pharaoh king of Mitzrim, to let the children of Yisrael go out of his land. And Musha spoke before Yahweh, saying, The children of Yisrael have not listened to me, and why would Pharaoh listen to me, for I am of uncircumcised lips? And Yahweh spoke to Musha and to Aharon, and gave them a command for the children of Yisrael and for Pharaoh, king of Mitzrim, to bring the children of Yisrael out of the land of Mitzrim. These are the heads of their fathers' houses, the sons of Rauban, the firstborn of Yisrael, Kanak and Palu, Ketzron and Carmi. These are the clans of Rauban, and the sons of Shimon, Yemwal and Yamin, and Ohad, and Yakin, and Sokar, and Shaul, the son of a Canaanite Asha. These are the clans of Shemion. These are the names of the sons of Louis, according to their generations, Gereshon and Kehath and Merari. And the years of the life of Louis were 137, the sons of Gereshon, Libni and Shimei, according to their clans, and the sons of Kehath, Amram and Yichar and Kebron and Uzial. And the years of the life of Kehath were 133, and the sons of Merari, Makli, and Mushi. These are the clans of Louis, according to their generations. And Amram took for himself Yokebed, his father's sister, as Asha. And she bore him Aharon and Musha. And the years of the life of Amram were 137. And the sons of Yitcher, Korak, and Nepheg, and Zikri, and the sons of Uzial, Mishaal, and Altsafan, and Sithri. Aharon took to himself Alisheba, daughter of Amenadab, sister of Nakshon, as Asha. And she bore him Nadab and Abihu, Alazar and Ethamar, and the sons of Korak, Asir, Alkanah, and Abiasaf. These are the clans of the Korkites. And Alazar, Aharon's son, took for himself one of the daughters of Putial, as Asha. And she bore him Pinkas. These are the heads of the fathers of the Luim, according to their clans. This is Aharon and Musha, to whom Yahuwah said, Bring out the children of Yisrael from the land of Mitzrim according to their divisions. They were the ones who spoke to Farah king of Mitzrim to bring out the children of Yisrael from Mitzrim. This is Musha and Aharon. And it came to be on the Yom when Yahuwah spoke to Musha in the land of Mitzrim that Yahuwah spoke to Musha, saying, I am Yahuwah. Speak to Farah king of Mitzrim all that I say to you. And Musha said before Yahuwah, See, I am of uncircumcised lips, and why would Farah listen to me?